So I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw this tweet and I just had to make a video. I could not believe it. And I kid you not, oh, I'll try to make this video. <laughs> I found this. <laughs> oh, no. These are just terrible lies. Don't let people lie to you. Why is 5G one of the hashtags? <laughs> So when you see tweets like this, and if you happen to be new to programming, this has to be so defeating. If you've been programming only for a few days and you feel like you don't understand the language, that's totally normal. It took me so long to understand and learn programming. So let me tell you a little bit about my story. So when I first really got into programming, it was after a long life of making many mistakes, including smoking meth, failing out of college multiple times. I was about 20, 21 when I really started taking things seriously. So I'm not like some sort of child prodigy. Yeah, I did some programming when I was younger. I had some basic familiarity with like ifs and while loops, but I wouldn't say that I had really any idea how to program. And something bit me during that time. I always attributed to the stupidest thing ever, which is the social network movie. It just somehow gave me the inspiration to really want to be better at things. It's not that I thought, oh, I'm going to make a billion dollar company, though I hope I would have. I tried to start my own company, but it was that I could build anything. I could build anything anything that I wanted. You know what? That gets you through so much more than, hey, learn how to program in 10 days. Having a goal, having this desire, having the ability to build whatever you want or believe that you can is so much more beneficial to your career than any of this crappy advice out there on Twitter. Okay, you can't just digest 10 resources and become better. You need to put into practice the things that you've read and do it multiple times to be able to gain the experience to see the different errors and be able to apply those to new situations. And I don't want these people seeing these things that tell you you can do it in such short period of times and wonder why am I not good enough? Why am I not understanding it? Why am I not getting a job in three months? The reality to the situation, especially in this economy right now in 2022, end of the year, is that we have a very hard time for the next couple years coming up. And if you're not willing to be the hardest working, the one that's putting in the most hours, the one that's trying the best to learn everything they can, I think that the next couple years are going to be hard. Sure, in a couple years after that, it could become really easy again. There could be a plenty of opportunity for everybody. But I do think that in the next couple years, you really either have to be willing to be the best, which means you're going to have to put in effort, or it's going to be rough. There is no 10 day. There is no two weeks. There really is no three months. Sure, in three months, you could learn how to use React. You could be okay at JavaScript, but you're not a great programmer. You're not even a good programmer. You don't even really understand it. I know that feels kind of like I'm, I'm talking down to the people or being mean, but it, it's something that you only understand in retrospect. When I look at how good of a programmer I was in 2017, I think, man, that person was an idiot. And I practically had a decade of experience at that point. When I look at my code I made yesterday, I think, man, that guy's an idiot. And that's me yesterday. So when you see these things, when you see these uh, people celebrating, hey, you can get a job in three months, get 100K in six months, and get this much money. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Mr. Bragg. I don't want you to be discouraged. I don't want you to feel like you can. Trust me, if there's one thing that I could try to convince you of more than anything else is that you have the capability to be great. It's just the willingness for yourself to do the step after step that it takes to be great. It is hard work. There is no shortcuts. And only those who are willing to go the distance will achieve it. I have been programming now for 15 years, and I still program about 60 hours a week. And about 15 of those hours are spent learning new things because I just have to keep on getting better at what I do. So I hope this is really encouraging for you. I hope that it helps you feel like you're in an okay place. Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You know I would appreciate it. I really want to get that 250,000 subs. I know that's a huge number. I'm only, I'm slightly more than halfway there, but I want to get it. Hey, thank you. The name is the Primogen.